In this problem, uh, a person is flying down vertically, and then after a height h, they attach to a hook, and um, they start to purely rotate about um, point p. We are asked to find um, what is the uh, what after 90 degrees of rotation, um, what is the angular velocity. Um, of this person rotating this way, okay? So this question is actually a combination um, uh, of questions uh, of impact and momentum um, and uh, also um, work energy, okay? Uh, so let's start. Um, so initially the person is traveling down, um, vertically down uh, with an initial velocity v1 um, and um, after a while, after they travel a height h, um, their velocity increases. They're still horizontal, okay? So they're just gonna end up here, um, horizontal, um, with a new velocity. So with that, we can use work energy to um, find the final velocity before the person hooks on. Now, after the person hooks on to p, they purely start to rotate. Um, this is where angular momentum uh, will come in. Um, and then um, after this, so after the impact, um, then we have uh, we have conservation of angular momentum. Then we can use work energy again to determine um, the the new um, position, the of the energy at the new position or the velocity at the new position here after um, this ninety degree rotation when the person ends up fully vertical. Okay. So first of all, let's do the easy part. Let's calculate the velocity of uh, when the person becomes horizontal just before um, connecting to the hook. Okay, so uh, we have the, so again, conservation of energy says that um, potential and kinetic energy at one are gonna be equal to um, kinetic energy and potential energy at two. Um, and um, in this case, um, at one, um, so one is going to be over here, um, and then two, I'm going to draw it in uh, in red. Uh, the person is going to be holding on, actually. The person is going to be holding on here, um, and the legs are going to be out, but they're not holding on yet, okay? And um, the velocity here will be v2, so this is two, okay? Um, and so actually, let me draw the arms that are not connected yet. So the arms are still there. Okay, that's state two. Um, so um, at initially, we're, we're gonna set our datum to be um, at the height of uh, point P. So this is gonna be our datum. Um, and initially, we're gonna have both kinetic and potential energy because we have a velocity and we're also at a height. Okay, so um, we're gonna have uh, one half mv1 squared plus mgh1, okay? And this is gonna be equal to um, just kinetic energy because there's no more height because we're at the datum now. Okay, so height is zero, so that term cancels out. So we have one half mv2 squared, okay? Um, so we can actually plug all those, these values in because we have V1, we have H um, mass we have, so we can actually solve for V2. Um, so let me plug in these values. So we have um, one half, the mass is 60 kilograms times V1, which is three meters per second squared. Um, plus uh, mgh, which is uh, 60 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared times 1.5 meters, which is the height. It's going to be equal to 1 half times 60 kilograms times v2 squared. So when we solve this uh, quadratic equation, we get that um, v2 is equal to uh, 6.199 meters per second. Okay, so now we have the velocity right before um, the impact or right before um, the person hooks onto the hook at P. Okay, 
So now we have to get from state 2 to state 3. Okay, and state 3 is essentially the same, but um, in this state we have the person actually uh, latching on to this um, uh, hook here. And the person is still going to be horizontal, but this is going to be state 3. Um, and um, the person is actually holding on to point P. Okay, um, and um, in this case, so to get from two to three, we're going to have conservation of angular momentum. Okay, so um, let's write here from one to two, and then down here we're going to have uh, two, two, three. Okay, and conservation of uh, angular momentum states um, the sum of angular momentum of a P of two is going to be equal to uh, the sum of angular momentum about uh, p of 3. Okay, and now we can actually, we have to determine what hp2 and hp3 are. Um, so initially, um, hp2 is just um, before latching on, and hp3 is after latching on. Okay, so um, right after the person starts holding um, onto the hook. Okay, so let's start with HP2. HP2 is equal to, um, we're going to have two terms. So first we are going to have a uh, linear velocity term. Um, so this person is traveling straight down with V2. Um, so that's why we're going to have R of G with respect to p uh, times uh, m to m v two sorry okay um, so this is just um, linear momentum times this radius and g with respect to p is just um, the radius um, between here and the center of gravity of of the person okay um, and so this is the first term and then we're going to have a rotational term. Uh, which is um, Ig um, omega 2. Um, but this one is going to be 0. We can already cancel it, right? Um, because the person is just um, linearly translating. There is no omega 2. See, let me put this over on the omega. Okay, so there actually is no term for rotation. Um, after, so in state three, uh, we are going to have rotation. So HP3 is going to be equal to, um, again, a linear term and a rotational term. But this time rotation, we will have rotation um, because the person is holding on and um, rotating about point P, okay? Uh, so the first term is the linear one. So M, R, and then times the velocity. Um, so the and this is just R G. Um, the velocity here is going to be a function of omega, right? Um, so this is going to be V three, um, but we know that V three is going to be equal to omega times R. Okay. Um, so I'll add that in later, and then we're going to have a rotational term. So we have um, I times omega. Okay, um, but this this here is going to be um, this we can solve we can use plug in um, with the radius of gyration we can find i um, and then this whole equation will be in terms of omega so let me make it all in terms of omega m r g squared omega three oh sorry this is omega three uh, plus uh, m r g squared omega 3, uh, sorry, kg, not rg, kg squared omega 3, okay? So here, this here, let me highlight it, this here is i, um, because i is just m kg squared, um, and then here, one of the r's times omega 3 is going to be r v 3, okay? Um, so that's how we get that equation. And again, this is all in terms of omega-3. Okay, this is, we are given kg and we know this. 
So all, all we care about in this equation is omega-3, and we've solved in terms of that. And then here, in this equation here, we know the radius, and we know V2 because we just calculated it. So when we equate these two terms, we can actually solve for um, omega-3. So let's do that. Uh, so we have... Um, 0 0.9 uh, times uh, meter, sorry, times uh, 60 kilograms uh, times 6.199 meters per second. Um, so this is this first term over here, or sorry, this first term over here, uh, plus 0, which is this term over here, um, is equal to um, and then here I will um, pull out omega-3 of this equation um, so we can have one term of omega-3. So we have times 60 kilograms um, times Rg, which is 0 0.25 um, meters squared, plus um, 60 kilograms times uh, 0 0.9 meters squared, um, and then we have omega-3 outside. So we can quickly solve for omega-3, okay? So when we solve for omega-3, we get the following. Omega-3 is equal to um, 6.395 um, radians per second. Okay, so this is omega-3. This is uh, the angular velocity right after when the person hooks onto P. But we're actually asked to find what is the angular velocity after a rotation of 90 degrees. Okay, so that's going to be different than the angular velocity up here. Okay, but um, with this, we can use work energy again to simply solve for that. Okay, so this state 3 um, travels to state 4, and state 4 is when the person is vertical. Okay. Um, so what's going to happen is um, there's a difference in potential energy because this G travels downwards um, and um, therefore there's going to be a difference in kinetic energy. Okay, uh, so let's uh, do that. So this is to get uh, from uh, 3 to 4. Okay, and we're going to use again work energy. So T3 uh, plus V3 is equal to T4 plus V4. Um, and we are simply going to have um, zero um, potential energy um, at the beginning, so in state three, because the person is horizontal right at the datum. Um, so this term here cancels out. Um, and we're going to have um, all of the other terms. So let's start with T3. Um, we have both... Um, a rotational velocity and uh, a linear velocity. So angular velocity and linear, so there's going to be two terms. Okay, um, so these two terms are, I'm going to couple them together and again pull out the omega term. Um, so this is what we're going to have. We're going to have one half, uh, I also pulled out the one half, uh, m uh, rg squared uh, plus m kg squared uh, times omega squared. Okay, um, and this is going to be the first term. Then we have uh, 0 v3, as, as I mentioned, and this is going to be equal to t4 plus v4. So again, I'm going to pull out the 1 half because um, uh, I want to couple the omegas together. Um, and um, I'm going to have my mass, which is the same, times rg, because uh, the person is rotating a, a per in a perfect circle. So RG stays the same. So the distance between here and G and the distance between here and G is exactly the same. Um, times, uh, or plus, sorry, um, M times KG squared um, times omega 4 squared, okay? Because now we have a different omega, right? It's not omega 3 anymore. And then we're going to have plus MGH. And here, this H here will be negative right, because it's below the datum. This g is traveling below the datum. Um, so we're going to have to plug in a negative number, um, okay? So let's plug in actual values and solve for um, omega-4.
okay? Because we have everything in this equation except, and sorry, let me plug in here omega 3, um, except for omega 4 over here. Okay, so let's solve. So we have 1 half times uh, 60 kilograms times uh, 0 0.25 meters squared plus 60 kilograms times 0 0.9 meters squared times omega-3, which is um, 6.395 meters per second, or radians per second, sorry. And this is all going to be equal to, and I'm going to go on a new line. Um, actually, let me pull this to this side over here. Uh, let's put it back. Uh, it's going to be equal to, um, so I'm going to be rewriting the equal sign um, to one half times 60 kilograms times 0 0.25 meters squared plus 60 kilograms times 0 0.9 meters squared times omega 4 plus uh, 60 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared times h, which is um, 0 0.9 negative 0 0.9 meters. Let me make some space. Negative 0 0.9 meters. Okay, and if we rearrange and solve for omega 4, um, we get that uh, omega-4 is equal to uh, 7.819 radians per second. And this is our final answer.